What's going on, traders? It's your boy Marv, the man, the myth, professor, back with another episode of my day trading recaps. So there was a couple things moving this morning. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just talk about the ones that I was on. Um, a couple things scanned into the um, screen, the, the scene, I should say, late. Um, but the bottom line is, is this is what I was doing. So we're going to go ahead and start with uh, my first stock that I looked at, which was PHCF. PHCF. I'm going to go ahead and share my screen. And here we go. So game plan stocks of pre market has a four uh, has a four eighteen. Well, it should have been the first buy at four eighteen, and we'll test. Uh, but I will wait and test the four oh six region. So what I saw, I just kind of, you know, why buy it at four eighteen when you can get it anywhere in the in in like four from like four oh five or more um, was what my thought process was, and we can see that that actually panned out. Um, there was a slight problem with this, which I'll talk about in a second. Bottom line though is it came right here into my my um, uh, 405 price point. Let's go ahead and go to the three minute chart so you can see that better. Um, but here it goes. It came right in here. Um, 406 is what I had an entry in. The low of this candle, I think it's, it's either 406 exactly or 405. I can't remember. Um, but the only problem I had with this, I didn't get a full fill. So it executed my it executed a portion of my shares, which uh, is very uh, disappointing. Um, but you know, I did what I was supposed to do. Uh, so it came in here, and we can see that it, you know, got strong. It bounced back up to the fours. Uh, what is that? 50 area, and then it, you know, came back, touched again, and then it really went and and did it. You know, and it ended up later being even stronger. Um, so bottom line um, is, you know, I was I was I was where I was supposed to be. I was doing what I was supposed to do. Sometimes you don't get the full fill. So, you know, I can either sit here and be mad about it, which doesn't change the fact that I didn't get the full fill, or I could just go about my day and be happy. Might as well take the latter, right? So that's kind of where I'm at with that one. Uh, but yeah, you know, we did it. The next trade I'm going to talk about is Izea. I -Z -E -A. Okay, I'm going to share my screen for you. And what we are going to see is this one was a bit of a conundrum. I wanted it at 123. Okay, 123 was perfect. The problem was the MA. The MA was in the way. Okay, and so I know that generally speaking, the MA is going to usually hold this thing up, right? And so we'll see. We go to the three minute. Don't forget the MA was at 129 or 128. Uh, I got in at 129, I think right one penny over the ma so look it came in i got triggered here and see it hung for a second when you look at this it looks like it just dropped straight down but it, it, that's not the case uh, oops sorry wrong way that's not the case it came in here it hung for um what three six nine minutes and then it couldn't do it sold off and what bothered me or let me say because nothing bothered me i'm not mad about anything where I ran into complications is that I was trying to get this. I apologize. I meant to put this back here and go to the 15. I was trying when it showed me that it could not get out, when it could not get over 130. I was trying to get out right there um, at the one, no later than, no lower than 128, so I can re put an order in for 123 because I just kind of had a feeling it was like I'm like a showing weakness. It can't get over 130. Then it couldn't get over 128. So I put an order in and get out 128. E-Trade didn't execute the trade. So now, and plus, I usually use the app. The app was all, it was acting all screwy. And so I had to log on online. By the time that all of this stuff shook out, it dropped. Um, and, and I just waited. So basically, I had to sit through the fact that it dropped 23 and just wait for it to come back. And it did. And it came back. I got out right where I got in at because I didn't know where where it was going to go. Luckily, look, it ran to like 139. It, it made a good little bounce, but I, I had a sour taste in my mouth because I, you know, I I did everything I was supposed to do to get out of that with the execution um, at either where I got in at or a penny over so I could retrade it at 123 and make a really good profit, you know, um, and it just didn't work out. And so, you know, again, Two choices. I could be mad about that, let that ruin my day, or I could just say, "Hey, man, it's how the cookie crumbles sometimes, but life is still absolutely fabulous." 
let's keep it that way. And that's kind of the, 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 the route that I want to go. The last stock that I'm going to talk about that I traded today, or not traded, attempted to trade, this one was a heartbreaker, um, is XO, E K S O. Um, and so let me share my screen. And what, what we'll see here, this, this had good news. I knew this was going to be a mover because the news was legit. Um, I was really uh, looking at this. I, ha I, was, I had a conundrum again. I could have took this pre-market candle at 520, okay? But the stock opened at 555, and I like it to fall 10% or more. Well, 520 ain't 10% or more. $5 would have been 10%. So I put an order in at 505, and, um, you know, I, I just kind of, you know, I, I, was, I was hoping that it came to 5, you know, right at 5 and then bounced. Uh, and if that didn't work, I was going to come right back at it with an order at 465. Um, bottom line is this thing full, this low is uh, 506. <laughs> so it came right here. This is 506. And the rest, as they say, is history. Look at that. Look at that bullishness. So essentially, I missed this play by a penny. Um, I missed it by a penny. And it is what it is so literally you know what ended up being basically a it was a wash day really because i washed out of isaiah and because i didn't get the because i didn't get the full feel and um cf or whatever that was because i didn't get the full feel uh i i still executed the trade profitable but it was just it wasn't fulfilled so you know it wasn't it wasn't much so that was pretty much my day now there was a couple other things that popped on the scene you know XO exploded um vxrt popped on the scene and avpo something like that there was a couple stocks that were moving um but but again you know i, I was out of there by 8 30 but excuse me i was out of there by 9 pacific time and and uh None of those set up to where I can get a play that I was looking for. So, I, you know, it is what it is. And one thing I know is something that moves every day, man. This is something moving every day. My whole system is set up to find movers um, and, and be where the traders are. And so, you know, I, I you, you just never worry about it. You just, hey, you dust your stuff off if it's a losing day. You know, you pat yourself on the back if it's a winning day. If it's a break-even day, you just smile all through all, all of the situations and, you get ready for the next one, and that's all you can do, okay? That's all you can do. You can't get nothing back. You can only get ready for the next one. So anyhow, that's what it is. I appreciate your time, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Doing it again.